Hollywood Dark, aka Big Trilla, Trilla Visuals, you know what I mean? Mr. RBR, <laughs> Mr. 2020, you dig? Okay, okay. So how long you been doing videos? Uh, we've been doing it about 16 years. It's me and my son. 16 uh, years? Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah, you got time in in this bitch, bro. So you seen a lot of technology change, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We probably in the renaissance right now. Though. It's probably one of the best times ever. Yes, sir. As far as them, they, they lie on the little man to, to get his hand on shit that we, you know what I mean, used to have to damn near be millionaires to fuck with. Yeah, yes, sir. Like the, uh, you know, film was all expensive. Now we got digital. You know what I mean? So oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, really put us in the game, bro. I said, like, what, what, what made you start doing videos? I, I mean, I felt like it was important for uh, for us to be able to tell our stories and get behind uh, our content. You know, before you used to have to hire a, a group of uh, no, no, no disrespect, I ain't racist, but a gang of white boys. You know what I mean? To try to make shit happen. My, 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 yeah, my junior, man, little Triller. Yeah, they little know Little Triller, my, my, my baby pup, yeah, bro. That nigga's a monster. They know his fucking name. You know what I mean? Remember, I'm the architect of that. Yeah. You're looking at the motherfucking architect, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so what, what motivates you to shoot videos? I mean, uh, like like I said, uh, you know, oh, yeah. I feel like it's important for us to be behind a camera. You know what I mean? And for us to, to keep that money flowing in our community, bro. And then who can tell the story better than us? Niggas with the experience, niggas that come from these environments. I come from this, I come from the motherfucking jungle, you feel what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I feel like just like some smug TV, like it's, it's important that we do it instead of the next person so the narratives won't get changed or won't be twisted, you feel me? I mean, ultimately, I, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to like get on uh, you know more I'm film, you know what I mean? Okay. And uh, we'll, like really build up a, um, an, an, an African American uh, film team. Nah, uh, no, Cause I, I actually worked in the market, in the Atlanta market, in the industry market. So I actually seen that like most of the time, like them things are like film. They're like film companies. The dudes that shoot the music videos, they come out and they set up like that. So that ideally for my home for Pittsburgh, I really want to create that type of thing for this environment. Kind of like an industry for yeah, absolutely. And we got we platform. got it. We got guns here, bro. You know what I mean? You you got people like Icon, people like Antoine Fuqua, and everything. Like people don't know the the film history of Pittsburgh, and this is the reason why we all on these cameras like we are. And we got some of the best people in the world here. I was about to say, like I look at a lot of local videos from out of town. And then I look at Pittsburgh and I'd be like real impressed because I'd be like, shit be looking professional out here. Yeah, man. yeah, it'd be nice, you know bro. I mean? Hats off to the bird, bro. Yeah. Bro, I get a lot of motivation from other, you know, video or filmmakers myself. So yeah. I watch and see a lot. You know what I mean? But um, I see you do a lot of videos for like hip hop artists yeah. and, uh, you know, let's say, say to say, say to so street artists. Yeah. You know what I mean, is there some type of music influence behind that? Um, well, I mean, uh, like right now, uh, me and my son is, is, is doing, I got the Mr. 2020, and I, he running with the, the, the Trilla visual thing right now. So I, me, primarily, I like to work with, like, companies. My son work with individual artists and shit, like, he connects to them. So, like, that's, as far as me, I, I mean, I'm really just trying to fuck with, like, artists that's a little bit more established. And a little more grown, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a OG, so, you know what I mean? Like, I really connect with people that's semi close to my age. All right. Uh, where where do you get, like? Do you do the edits on the videos? Uh, yeah, I do my edits. Um, you know the beast, the monster editor is my my junior. Okay. Um, and right now he's really branching out, working with little little Dirk and and, and different little, different people. So he's really doing his own thing. Right, so where do the motivation come from with the edits behind your videos? Because you know Trilla TV kind of got like his signature video. Edit, well, I can say. I mean, he, he, my, as far as well, my son, he's only 18. Yeah. He's been doing it since he's been eight. And he started on programs like After Effects. He started on that. Like, I, like, I, like he ain't have, truth be told, I ain't even let him play outside. I, I made him sit at the computer and master that. So it's like a, a lot of it is almost second nature. Because he do a lot of the stuff that y'all see, he do it in a day. Like, that's day work. 
You know what I mean? So, I, you know, he was, I ain't gonna front it. It's his gift, bro. He was like born to edit like that. Me, I'm okay. I'm an okay editor. You know what I mean? But I ain't my son. This, what's one of your favorite experiences dealing with, you know, shooting videos for artists? Um, locally? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, almost every... I, let me see the, the best experience. Because I didn't, I didn't work with pretty much everybody in Pittsburgh. Um, and always, I mean, it just depends. Like, I, I vibe with when I, just seeing young people active and doing something better than, you know, killing each other and getting locked up, man, is, is a good experience to me. I'm, 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 I'm 44. So all this shit, just being around young people, seeing them out here doing something great. And I mean, chasing their dreams is, is a good experience. So every day I come out here and, and young people fuck with me, fuck with any of our brand, like I, I, it's a good experience. Okay. All right, so what's one of your worst experiences dealing with, you know, oh. shooting videos for artists? Oh. I mean, the, uh, well, you know, I, 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 I didn't have a couple of artists that, uh, that popped off. And one thing that I, 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 that I don't I don't like about a lot of you, a lot of people see you, know, see, see you with this camera, they don't know like who the fuck the person is behind you. And I be trying to tell a, little, a lot of young people, like, know your homework and be careful who you pop off with. Because at the end of the day, I'm, a, I'm an old OG, but I'm a street nigga, like one, you know, classic gangbang nigga. So a lot of young niggas see a nigga with a camera, they don't expect us to have these skills. You know what I mean? And I had, a, I had, I had, I had quite a few artists uh, that was young that I had to like really pull to the side and tell them like, look, young, I fuck all that. You know, you think because the for whatever reason people think cameraman equals soft, or, like you ain't that nigga. And I be trying to explain to a lot of these niggas like, man, a lot of these dudes behind the cameras, you know what I mean, some classic treacherous niggas, you just, they change and they better if they, you know what I mean, we had an opportunity to survive a lot of the bullshit and we had to pick up and do something, plus I wanted to teach my kids something different, you know what I mean, so then here we go, but that, I hate that shit, be careful man, we ain't just a motherfucking cameraman, bro. we hood just like you motherfuckers, even more. Okay, well, uh, for those that don't know who you is and where to find your music and uh, work, all that, let them know. Um, you can uh, you can find me on, um, I don't really fuck with social media, but Ron Howard on Facebook. You hit my sign up on the Trilla TV. Um, and just shit, my, my number, man, 412-728-5763. OG shit, man. Call me on the phone, I'll pull up.